Excel formula to list categorical data modes, both the label and frequency, and I want it to be dynamic. So it changes when the data changes. Now here's the thing. I've been looking for a formula like this forever. But now, with Microsoft 365, we got it. It's here. Now here's our data. It's categorical data. And I just want to know which one occurred most frequently. Well, we could use our keyboard, Alt-N-V-T, create a pivot table, click OK. How easy and beautiful pivot tables are. Instantly, I get a unique list. I drag this text field. Instantly, I get a count. Change the label at the top. And now I see that Bloxy Cola is the one that occurs most frequently. But what if I want my solution to update when data changes instantly? I don't want to have to right click refresh. But more importantly, I want it to spill the results when there are multiple results. And when the mode changes and there's two more, I want those to spill. And when there's only one or only two, I just want it to spill from the top cell. In the top cell, I'm going to use the let function to define variables. I'm going to define a variable C for cola, and that will represent all the values. And this could be an Excel table, which would make it even more dynamic. That's one variable name, one input for the variable, comma. The second variable is going to be called UL for unique list, comma. The input for that variable will be sort, and then unique with the variable C. That's the full column. Close, close. That's the second variable name and the formula element for that variable. And now, as I'm building my let, I'm going to check each variable. So we'll see if unique list actually spills, and it does. At the top, F2. The next variable will be frequency. So I'll use F, comma, the input for that variable, count ifs. Criteria range is the full column C, comma, and in criteria 1, we need the criteria for counting. So we'll put the unique list. And that way, count ifs will give us a count for each item in the unique list. Close parentheses, and there you go. There's the third variable name, the third variable formula element. And now let's see what it evaluates to. Comma, F to check it, and there's the frequencies. In the top cell, F2. Backspace, the next variable will be FD for full frequency distribution, comma, and I'll use the lookup function, choose. I want to mash together two columns, so I simultaneously have to look up column 1 and 2. And you do that in array syntax, column 1. And you got to use a comma, because comma represents go over a column. 2, close curly bracket. That 1 and 2 in index will tell choose to look up value 1 and value 2 and return them both, comma. The first thing that I want to look up is unique list, comma. The second thing I want to look up is frequency. And choose will look those both up and deliver them as a single object. And now we've defined the fourth variable and the fourth element for that variable. Now let's see if the frequency distribution works. So comma, and we'll check it. FD, close parentheses, and Enter. Now I have what I want. I have a table that I can filter based on the max value. So in the top cell, F2, and I'm going to backspace. And this is not going to be a variable name and a variable input. This will be the final calculation, so I'll use filter. I'm going to filter FD, comma. And how am I going to filter it? I need to look through the full spilled frequency column and say whenever you are equal to the max frequency, close parentheses, close, close, and Enter. I have looked up the actual categorical label and the mode. Now if I come over and change this to Coke, It'll meet both conditions that I set up up front. I need to be able to change the data, have it update instantly, and I want everything to spill. So when I hit Enter, 
That is some magic that I have been looking for for decades. And now in Microsoft 365, and all of these functions actually work in Excel 2021, there it is. Multiple modes with categorical data, no problem. Now, I was having so much fun building this awesome new formula, I forgot what our teammate recalc or die always says. Hey, when we do a long formula like this, let's use Alt-Enter. And we'll show each variable, here we go, on a new line. Look at this. I'm going to put FD down to the next line. And there's the final calculation, bam, on its own line. And so when I hit Enter, it looks the same. But when I come to the top cell and hit F2, that's easier to read. Well, at least for some people, I still like it linearly. But guess what? This is an amazing formula that points towards the future. And on this New Year's Eve, on the precipice of 2022, Happy and excellent new year to you. Hey, we'll see you next year for lots more fun and lots more videos from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.